Should your last rap look like this? This? Or even this? Well, how close you should go to failure depends on many factors. And one of them is the exercise you perform. Single joint or isolation exercises are usually a bit safer, easier to control and less taxing on the neuromuscular system than compound and technically demanding exercises. However, selectively training to failure can still be beneficial, even for some compound movements. A general rule based on my experience is leaving 1-3 to three reps in a tank for the first set of an exercise and then going all out on your final set. One last tip, when training for very complex calisthenic skills, you should avoid failure for most of the time. Of course we follow the same approach in our workout programs you can get at kellymove.com.